Consumer news tonight when it comes to meat. The USDA seal is required to prove that the meat has been inspected by a federal agency. But what many consumers may not know is that some meat has actually been treated with carbon monoxide gas in order to keep it looking fresh for weeks. Kitty Pilgrim has more. Red fresh meat, or is it? Congressional hearings pointed to the pitfalls of treating meat with carbon monoxide. Treating meat with carbon monoxide allows the meat to keep its freshly ground red color even though the meat may have spoiled. I have a picture on the screen. There's two packages of ground meat that were left out at room temperature for 27 hours. You can see the one which was treated with carbon monoxide looks fresh and red while the other meat has turned brown and quite nasty looking. Congressman Stupak and Congressman Ed Markey have introduced legislation that would require meat treated with carbon monoxide to be labeled so the consumer would know. According to the industry, two-thirds of all meat and chicken is no longer cut by a butcher in front of customers or in back of the supermarket case. Now, pre-packaged, case-ready meat is prepared off-site at large distributors and then shipped to supermarkets. The carbon monoxide treatment keeps meat looking fresh in that process. Food experts say a pound of ground beef cut by a butcher goes brown in four to five days. But meat treated with carbon monoxide by a meat packer can stay looking fresh for weeks. It's the same with imported seafood. Congressman Stupak says his subcommittee tested seafood from China and Vietnam treated with carbon monoxide. 20% turned out to be bad and was refused. It's a problem because consumers aren't informed about how meat is treated. The meat is being treated with chemicals so that it's going to look like it's fresher than it is. I think consumers have a right to know how fresh their meat is. Industry representatives of large meat packers say the additive is harmless and it's easy to tell when the product goes bad. Kitty Pilgrim, CNN.